ReLondon is a study that aims to capture the air quality that children breathe as they move to and from school in very great detail so that we can see where the hotspots are and try and make improvements. I feel excited for the children because it's a, a real life experience, it's a real project that actually has meaningful value for them. They're actually involved in something and can see the importance of gathering evidence and analysing the data afterwards and actually that tells you something about the world. We've been working on a project to develop a wearable sensor that's monitoring uh, particulate matter and NO2. The sensor will be integrated into a backpack that the kids will be wearing to and from school. Air pollution is definitely a global problem. Up to 8 million people are dying prematurely across the globe because of the quality of air they're breathing. And just to put that into context, if I take a human hair, you can get 30 of the tiny particles I'm talking about, PM 2.5, across the one human hair. And because they're that small, you breathe them in and they go deep into your lung. Children are particularly vulnerable because their lungs and their bodies are still developing. King's College London were brought in by the Mayor of London to provide an independent scientific evaluation of the air quality that these children are exposed to. We had the scientific expertise but we did not have the engineering expertise so we partnered with Dyson to provide the technology that we required. Using this new methodology we can really look at how the air quality varies as the children go about their normal day. What we hope to see is a really detailed map of air quality around the target schools and hopefully we'll find evidence of improvement and change.